Hello, my dear doctor. I'd like to discuss now the very important topic that is a five star topic that is multiple endocrine neoplasia. Just follow me what is written in your notes. The men type 1, you see the parathyroid gland that is 95% hyperparathyroidism due to parathyroid hyperplasia. Pituitary gland 70% and pancreas is a 50%. Insulinoma, gastrinoma leading to recurrent peptic ulcerations. Also, adrenal and thyroid gland sometimes is associated and man one zine and most common presentation is the hypercalcemia and man is inherited as an autosomal dominant disorder. Man type 2A, it is written that is you see that the medullary thyroid cancer is a 75% and parathyroid tumor also can be 60% and few chromocytoma also can be associated. Man type 2B, all right. Once again, medullary thyroid carcinoma and few chromocytoma. And along with some of the other features like the morphonoid body habitats, neuromas, and men type 2A and type 2B, the rat oncogene is asserted. So, my dear, what I'd like to say, man is a very hot topic for the exam, and look at the board and the boxes will be helpful to remember all these things together. Just look at the port. SS box. Yes, this is very important. So, multiple endocrine neoplasia is a type 1. Yes, and multiple endocrine neoplasia type 2. So, make a box. So, man is associated with the manin and type 1, 1 for 11, chromosome number. In contrast, MEN2 is a rat, T, 2 for 2, TAT, we can say rat, TAT, and 2 for 10, means the 10 chromosome number. And both are autosomal dominant disorders, so we need to remember. So that's it. What I'm saying, man 1, man in zine, 1 for 11, man 2, yes, 2 for 10, but 2 for T for rat, oncogen is responsible. Another box, just write it down, man 1 equal to PUD followed by PUD. And another box right here, men to equal to diarrhea followed by diarrhea. So this discussion is very much important, my dear, very important. Just follow me what I am saying. Men one is a puri followed by puri. Men two, say with me, diarrhea followed by diarrhea. Say with me. Men one, puri followed by puri. Men to diarrhea followed by diarrhea, and that will be helpful. Let's talk about it. So, man one, yes, the first beauty, the first beauty is due to hypercalcemia. We already talked about the hypercalcemia, the cause of peptic acid disease, and this hypercalcemia is caused by primary hyperparathyroidism due to parathyroid adenoma we can write parathyroid adenoma and second puri second puri second puri is due to zollinger Ellison syndrome. Zollinger Ellison syndrome is a gastrinoma. Gastrinoma is nothing but a pancreatic tumor, endocrine tumor. Yes. So this is not only the mnemonics. This is also the typical. Man one syndrome will come up with us. 
So starting with the man one, I said multiple endocrine neoplasia type one is a puri followed by puri, and first puri remember is due to the hypercalcemia due to parathyroid tumor and second puri Jolin deletion syndrome gastrinoma in the pancreatic tumor. So this is the first and second step presentation that then we call that is man type 1. So as I say the man 1 is nothing but the puri followed by puri. Second talk the man type 2 is a diarrhea followed by diarrhea. You see the man type 2 is a diarrhea followed by diarrhea. So let's talk about it. There's a first diarrhea is due to calcitonin. And this calcitonin is come up with the C cells. And these C cells is nothing but a parafollicular cells. And these parafollicular cells tumor is nothing but a MTC, medullary thyroid carcinoma. So once again, first diarrhea, you need to calcitonin means medullary thyroid carcinoma. Second diarrhea is due to pheochromocytoma. This is an important box, my dear. So once again I said the man too is a diarrhea followed by diarrhea and first diarrhea is due to MTC, second diarrhea is due to pheochromocytoma. Typical presentation that we need to remember first step and then the second step. And man type 2 having also classified into the two varieties. means the type 1, type 2A and type 2B. Men type type 2A and type 2 both are common, right? The features are common, but the type 2B having 2M extra. What is this 2M? M4, just write it down. Marfanoid habitus means Marfan syndrome, tall stage. We'll study in another chapter of Marfan syndrome. Marfanoid habitus and M4 mucosal lungs and bumps means these are neuromas. Just write it down mucosal neuromas. So man to be is also strongly associated with to be strongly associated with the 2M extra findings that is morphonoid habitus and mucosal neuromas. So the starting with the first box once again, man one and man two, man one, man e, one for eleven. Men 2, 2 for T, alright, this red on cousin, and 2 for 10, remember these two. And both are autosomal dominant disease, sometimes it comes up in your exam. Second box talk, this one, men type 1, that is puri followed by puri, and men 2, third box, the diarrhea followed by diarrhea. And fourth important box here, that is 2B is a 2M features, morphonoid heminas and mucosal neuromas. So summary talk once again. Man 1, man 2, both are men for men in 1 for 11, men 2 for tet or rat, 2 for 10, autosomal dominant. Second box, man 1 is puri followed by puri, man 2 is a diarrhea followed by diarrhea. And third talk is a man type 2B is really important. Type 2B means 2M pictures. 
Foam pictures means morphonoid habitus and mucosal neuromas. So that's all. I hope that these boxes will be helpful, my dear. Best of luck. Thank you.